One of the things that my kids all love to do when they were younger is to build a sand castle. And we would stick sand, pack them into these different sized cups and try to stack it as high as we could. And many times we would go and we would get a bucket of water. We would try to make a moat around the castle. So we would start to pour the water around the outside. And many times we would see that the sand on the side of the foundation of the castle would erode when the water hit it. And either part of the castle would completely collapse or the entire thing would just come down. And we would have fun hour after hour of just building these castles and just watching them tumble down as we poured the water around it. And in, in Matthew chapter 7, uh, Jesus references this. He finishes this huge message that he gives to the people. It's called the Sermon on the Mount. And I would highly encourage you to go and to read it, not all in one sitting, but that you would take your time that you would really try to just ponder and meditate on each of the different sections that Matthew records. And it's found in Matthew chapters 5 through 7. And, and Jesus covers a variety of different topics, talks about so many different things. That's why it's so hard to really just take in it all at one time. But when Jesus comes to the end of this huge message that he gives to the people, he closes it out by sharing this. And I just want to read Matthew chapter 7, starting in verse 24. He says, therefore, and that therefore is connected back to everything that Jesus said, starting in Matthew chapter 5, all the way through to what he's saying now. He says, therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house, and it fell with a great crash. And this is a time when people are having the foundations of their lives tested. That we are facing a variety of different struggles and battles right now. And there are many people who are evaluating what they have built their life on. Because the wind is, has come and the streams are rising and we feel like we are just being beaten on many different sides. So my hope for you today is that you truly evaluate what it is that you have built your life on. And that you will understand what Jesus is talking about when he talks about building your life on the rock. That that rock is the foundation of God's promises that uh, will always be true and that will never fail you. That rock is the foundation of God's word because it is something that is unchanging. It reveals God's character that does not change because it can be uh, counted on to always be constant regardless of what is happening in the outside world today. So my hope for you is that as you think about what it is that your life is being built on, that as you're facing these struggles and as the wind is blowing and beating against your house, my hope is that you will build on that foundation that is strong, that foundation is solid, that foundation that regardless of what is happening will never fail you. That God's promises are real, they are true, and they are the thing that we can build the foundation of our life upon. Would you pray with me now? Lord, we thank you so much. We thank you that your promises are real, your promises are true. We thank you that we can count on those things. And we thank you that we can count on you to be the same today and tomorrow and forever. And Lord, while the things of this world constantly change, while our circumstances seem like they are rapidly changing and we are facing a variety of different battles and struggles, Lord, we thank you so much that we can count on you, that we can seek to build our foundation on the rock, which is your word and which are your promises. Lord, help us to make our foundation strong on you. We pray these things in your name. Amen.